So our last dissection in Bio 202 is of a bull testicle. Now, just the same with the heart and the kidney, we're going to be making a coronal cut. But in order to do this cut, we need to identify some external features so we know where to make the cut. So, as you can see, this testicle has a lot of fat deposits on it. But, we notice this strange sort of lump here. And we know that there's this cord here. I won't say which cord it is. So, we're going to peel away with our fingers some of the fat, if we can, and see if we can get down to the internal parts of the testicle. All right. Now we see this hump here in the, the, the apex of the testicle, and it has this ridge along here. This ridge is the identifying character in which we'll be cutting. So what we're doing is we're splitting the testicle into a anterior and posterior halves. And what we use is this ridge and we cut right along here. So as we've made our coronal cut, you notice that this sheath was very tough and it's mostly made out of collagen. Once we get that off, the tissue underneath is much easier to cut through. Now that we've made our coronal cut, we've gone through the testicle, there are some interior parts that we need to identify. Some of these parts include this strange looking cord system, this bump here, and this separated tissue along here. We need to identify what's the superior and inferior end of the testicle and the inside. There's this strange looking collagenous structure here. So now that you know how to cut, again, same with the cleanup. This goes into the big gray tub. All your tools get washed. The dissecting tray and its pad get washed um, and dried. Put your tools away into the box and make sure that your area has been cleaned up with paper towels and your gloves have been thrown away and it looks pretty and nice for your TA because your professional points are riding on the line.